ever worsening ramifications of government's failed fight against Galamse is ever so lucid and conspicuous today. The countless number of polluters water bodies in several parts of our country, such as River Pra, River Brim, River Ophain, River Cobra, among others, is enough testament to the fact that Ghanaians have been taken for a ride by President Ekufuado, who continues to supervise and promote the escalation of the Galamse menace. But quite characteristic of this government, even in the face of worsening turbidity of our water bodies, by the day, functionaries of government, government spokespersons, still claim this government has achieved results relative to the Galamse fight. What results are they talking about, ladies and gentlemen? What resource? Is it the brownish coloration of the River Pra? Or the chocolate coloration of River Ankubra? Is that the resource they are talking about? This sad reality. And I realize that when we got here, most of you were shocked at the horrifying and harrowing images you saw here. And we know that through your networks, the good people of Ghana will see the truth, the reality, the hardship that the people of this area are going through as a result of the deception of President Ekufuado. Water bodies which used to look white under President Mahama are today looking brownish under President Ekufuado. And we are not saying that under President Mahama, there was zero incidence of galancy. No, that is not what we are saying. But when you have a president coming into office, promising change, promising to do better, telling the whole country that he's willing to put his presidency on the line, wasting millions of taxpayers' money on the so-called fight against Galamse, and yet you have stability levels worsening. You have the incidence of Galamse increasing to alarming proportions. Then that is an issue worth interrogating. And that must become a concern or must be a concern for all world mini Ghanaians, irrespective of your political affiliation. Because the people in this area are not all NDC people. They are MPP people here. As we speak, there is an MPP district chief executive. The member of parliament is an MPP person. They are MPP leaders in this area. And they are all suffering. They are all going through the debilitating effects of the destruction of this water body, which is being supervised by President Ekufuada. Needless to say that a huge financial loss has been occasioned this country through this fraudulent fight against Galamse. In the last three years, relics such as seized gold, excavators, and weapons, which could have served as evidence for the prosecution of illegal miners, have been misappropriated and cannot be accounted for by the Interministerial Committee Against Illegal Mining. Yet, government claims to have achieved results. Ladies and gentlemen, to think that some of the so-called missing 500 excavators are being secretly returned to Accra, while some have returned to the forest to continue the illegal activity, speak volumes of the tragedy we have in our hands today. I'm sure you've seen videos of some of the so-called missing excavators being returned to Accra into state years for that purpose. We know that the excavators are not missing. Yes, we know they have sold some. We've seen the bank statement of that PCFM journalist. And we've seen the so-called criminal complaint filed by Professor Frimpong Bwati against Ekua. We see alleging that some of these things have been sold. But ladies and gentlemen, we also know that most of these excavators have been rented out to foreign illegal miners who have paid monies, huge sums of money to government officials. And these are the very excavators which are being used for illegal mining and to plunder our water bodies, our forest reserves, and so on. And so it is not true that all these excavators have been stolen. 
And since you broke this story, since we started discussing this matter, they have started returning some of these things shamelessly.